So th we at UVU think the marketplace has been really interesting. And the market I defined today was the market that UVU actually launched into. Um, there's three particular battles that we see ongoing uh, in this particular market at the moment. Uh, the first one is really around platform wars. Um, and within that, it's not just the, the war that we've all heard about many, many times before, which is the traditional pay versus free, which is the sky and the virgin versus the might of free view and its entire ecosystem. But increasingly, this becomes a battle for the connected consumer and really the broadband relationship and the billing relationship that goes along with that. So that's the first battle. The second battle is really once that consumer's got the broadband that they're going to connect to, it's then about which device are they going to connect that broadband to? Is that TV, set-top boxes, TVs, tablets, mobiles? And the question really for co um, content providers is that if a consumer is now connected to all these devices, does their content have to be on every single device, on every single platform available to those users? And then the third big battle is really around aggregators. And that's whether it's Netflix or Love Film or, or BBC iPlayer. But the question is, for a user, if I'm connected on my device, which, which portal, which gateway do I go into to find my content? Content providers are very keen to make sure that you keep that separate, to make sure that their content is always viewed within their context. Now, for a user, that can become very complicated if the content they're looking for is not within that player. So you get these three battles ongoing uh, throughout the marketplace, which ultimately has resulted in quite a lot of customer confusion. And what UV is trying to do is break through and cut through that confusion to get a clear message to the user of how to get the best content in the UK. It brings together the power of the internet with the power of the broad broadcast to offer the user uh, in one simple to use set top box um, all of the linear TV content that they're used to, but it brings with them a really easy way to also get all of the catch up content and a massive on demand library. So it's just bringing to free TV homes a much wider and more accessible and interesting range of content. So from a content provider's point of view, at UView, we don't try and own the billing relationship, we don't try and own the customer, and we don't try and take away from the content provider the context in which their, in which their content should be consumed. So at UView, we, we bring together all of the content in one place so a user can find it, whether that's through search or whether that's through aggregated browse. When a user goes to play a piece of content, it's one click to play it, but it's always presented within the content provider's context. So if I try and find EastEnders, I will always watch it through BBC iPlayer. So we give the content provider their relationship with their customer. So what we're really excited about at UView is the fact that by combining the linear and the broadcast uh, technologies, we are seeing that users of UView in their home are now watching an average of five video on demand programs every single week. And each one of those programs is averaging around 30 minutes. And that's incremental to the normal um, linear broadcast usage that those homes would already, would already have. So I think the, the OTG conference is a fantastic thing to have in the UK, especially at this time. So increasingly, um, you're seeing that the UK television industry is really galvanising around OTT, and that's all the big players are now playing in this space. It's a space that's very, very close to UV's heart. It's an area that we're really, um, we're really leading the charge on um, in the UK. Um, and it's great just to be able to have a conference dedicated to this part of the industry and have all the big players here in one place to discuss it.